Hey guys, we're currently in the dead zone in T minus two weeks and count until the baby comes out. We're starting to get stuff in preparations. Biggest necessity of all though. I'm a huge fan of boxed wine. Great for the price. Four bottles, one box, 20 bucks. I, I'm, with this arsenal of nectar from the gods, I'm ready to attack any fetus that comes out of my wife's vagina. Why? Because I'm filming for, I'm going to film weekends moms up until the baby. It's probably our last one. Yeah. Mm. Why am I a little fat? Hello. Bottom left corner. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> nope. Here I am hanging out with my boy Jason. I've got a little theory for you and I want to test it out and see if you'll play along. I want you to think about the closest person to you at this moment, probably a spouse if you're married or a girlfriend, boyfriend or whatever like that, uh, and think about something bad that they did, something that, that made you mad. Think about that. Now think about something good that they did. What was the last good thing that they did? A gesture of goodness. Now I'm willing to bet that the bad thing came to your brain super fast and the really good thing that they did for you or the nice thing took a while for you to think about. And my theory is that people only remember bad things and bad things stand out to people. I don't know why we're wired that way, but we always reflect and think about some way that we've been done wrong or something bad that's happened. Right? <laughs> I say that with a blade in my throat. Sorry, you hear that noise? I was doing laundry and I had this uh, epiphany of genius. All right, we're two weeks away for baby time and tomorrow is a threat of severe weather. So the barometric pressure is gonna be all goofy and stuff. So actually the wife could possibly feel like she may go into labor or something like that because of the weather conditions. Apparently that plays a part. But don't worry, because if that happens, I will live stream the whole thing on YouTube, the pregnancy, everything, and you'll get to see it all. Yeah. So today we're going to go out, do a little grocery shop and come back. The friends are going to come over. We're just going to grill out a little bit and uh, enjoy a good weekend together and uh, just kind of be a little lazy over this weekend and the next weekend too before before showtime. This is what happens when you go to the wife shopping. This is what you get when you carry some somebody that loves purses, purse shopping. That kind of face, that face, and and then this. <laughs> and then he wears them. And then I wear them. Ooh, that one's only eighteen. Which, you picked up the blue which one's you getting? The two, the blue. I picked the blue, and then what's the other one? Jessica Sampson. Jessica Sampson. Oh my God. Sampson. She makes the best shit. <laughs> So this mall used to be like the major place to go when I was a kid. It was insane, like how packed it used to be. What are they doing to the ceiling? I don't know. Hmm. But now malls all across America are just going to poop because everybody wants to go to the outdoor outlet mall type areas and walk around. You remember that one time we came here and it smelled like fart? It's crazy what they're doing because I came here as a kid. And there used to be a theater built into this. And they put another one back. But it's a brand new theater. It's really nice. And, uh, but they have like, one theater place in here. And they have like superheroes here. Spider Man came and did like a, a dare speech to keep people. What did dare stand for? Drugs. Some kind of drug program. I don't know. Drugs against relatives no that's not it that's not it <laughs> but no uh, it was all the superheroes here and they had like bed races and it was like well i remember being kids we were all standing out in the parking lot the back parking lot of this mall and uh, uh they were doing bed races so it'd be like two superheroes and then the other superheroes would be in the bed and they had the wheels on the bottom of the bed and then they'd race each other and they'd run and see who would win it was crazy but the mall was going to crap i think they're gonna like kind of tear it down at some point just make these outdoor places right i don't know or they're just narrowing no down like who wants to stay and, no idea and, but they're boarding up like all this stuff yep so bye bye creepy Mimi? yeah wow. <laughs> apparently the best time to come to buy makeup is when free gift time what'd you get for for this 
Well, people are very well aware of my Good free no. gift. No, no, you're not. It's not a secret. It's not a secret, no. Woo! It's like a freaking inferno out here. It's like 90 degrees high today, which is crazy because humidity is pretty rough too. But we're at Buffalo Wild Wings about to tear up the $5 coupon that we got from last weekend's going to watch some soccer. It's like 10 bucks to get in, but you get five back for a coupon. That's nice. And uh, Buffalo Wild Wings is quite the smart one because they play music outside and they play music inside. So guess what you can't do when you're inside or outside? You can't film unless you're going to put your own music to it because of the copyright crap from YouTube. So pretty slick, Buffalo Wild Wings. That, and I guess you entertain your guests too. But I'm going to go have myself a Blue Moon, an adult beverage... And probably not wings, because I don't like bone-in chicken wings. I like boneless. Is that weird? Yeah. Right, I guess. So like, does it say record? Or do you take a yeah. break? Yeah. I'm getting... Uh, I, I'm getting boneless wings, and I've got uh, mango, habanero, and Caribbean jerk. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure why he thinks people care what kind of food he's getting. Because I want to see if my nose runs because it's so <laughs> hot. Hey everybody, I'm Eric Church. Make sure to subscribe to Isaiah's Reviews. Now the Caribbean jerk is perfect, but when we get over to the mango habanero, ooh, let's see what happens then. It's almost spit. Mango habanero is no joke. It's like a burning sensation down in your, in your man pants. Or actually my man pants is going to be burning later when I go uh, visit the porcelain gods. We got a little survey question. Survey says, do you like getting services done at dealerships? Do you feel like you get the phone at dealerships? I got a prime example. A town away, my wife goes to get her car serviced at Honda dealership of at Huntsville, Alabama. And I've always depended upon and relied upon Decatur Honda. Because they've always been super honest and straightforward with me. Well, they told her that she needed to do, she needed to have her brakes replaced, her pads replaced, her rotors resurfaced, all that stuff. Dire need, you gotta. So she goes over to my neck of the woods where I have to carry my vehicle to have the oil changed and has it done there. And they say that you're 50%, like you're halfway through your pads. Totally fine. So if any one of you guys ever had an issue with a dealership, like that where you get jerked off you don't even want to get jerked off like you've, you've already got jerked off and then somebody's trying to re-jerk you off again and you're like Ehh! has that happened to you if so please comment below and make sure to to uh, obliterate that subscribe button i'll say it once and i'll say it again strike a fire match right here is the best for charcoal and the charcoal chimney you can't beat it he's lighting this set it under there 15 minutes later you're ready to pour these guys into that guy right there I'm telling you folks only the finest wine for me it's a seven circle of hell So today is Sunday, the day when the weather gets bad. It's about 30 minutes away. The line of storms are, and I'm down in the basement in the garage. So we're going to go look, kind of prep, take a little looky-poo at the storm shelter and make sure everything's 
good and bug free and spider free and all that good stuff. Yeah, this, this looks like I should kick uh, this thing back and see like some woman down there with tattered and torn clothes and, and I, I take a rope and a bucket and I tell her to put the lotion on the skin or are you going to get the hose again? But yeah, other than these bazillion spider webs hanging down, I think it's okay. So the possible tornado is like 10 minutes away, not even 10 minutes. I think like eight minutes now away from the time of arrival. So it's coming from that direction over there. And we just got a tornado watch popped up on my phone right now. Uh, it's supposed to be like super bad winds. And these trees, as you can see, they're right next to the house. So I think I'm going to go back inside before one of them snaps over on top of me here. Look at those. Storm is approaching. I think we're just a couple minutes now away from it. Uh, the edge of it there getting here. I don't know if you can see, but the edge is like right there of the cloud moving, moving in that supposedly contains all the juice needed for a torno tornado. I see the clouds creeping pretty low and eerie like. Well, apparently the storms have passed, sort of-ish, and uh, there have been some tornadoes, I think they confirmed a couple at least, saying maybe three or so out there in the same line that's expanded for like half the state coming out of Mississippi. So hopefully everybody's okay, and uh, thank God we're okay too. Well, I got the call from the wife. Uh, they're admitting her to the hospital. She went in for a normal checkup, and they said that she's been having contractions over the weekend. And uh, um, the nurse said if it was up to her, she'd have it today. Uh, so they admitted her for 24-hour monitoring, and that's where I'm headed to right now as fast as I can with the puppies in the back to give to her sister. And uh, that's where we're at with, with the baby situation if traffic would move a little faster.